Harry's given plenty of speeches in his life, because that's what you do when you're a prince. As part of his service, he attends events, mutters a few words, maybe tosses in a joke, basks in the applause, and then sits down. The speeches are usually written by someone else, so it's hardly a challenge. He's done this countless times. When he speaks, at least he doesn't bore the audience as much as his wife, whose droning speeches could put a rock to sleep. Lately, though, it seems that her stellar influence is rubbing off on Harry's speaking abilities. Footage shows Harry and his wife at a dinner with chairs labelled Duke and Duchess. Harry was supposedly to give a short speech about Invictus. For once, we were spared his wife's monotony to the relief of many. Harry took the podium and rambled about sports being a unifying tool for physical and mental healing. He waxed nostalgic about the Invictus Games over the past 10 years, mentioning events in the UK, USA and Germany. Despite his best efforts, the audience was utterly uninterested. They chatted through his speech, clearly showing their respect and enthusiasm for the Sussexes. The camera even caught soldiers who seemed to find the whole thing amusingly irrelevant. Harry, stumbling through his speech, was visibly impacted by the lack of attention. He brightened up only at the end, when he finally got some applause, undoubtedly relieved. Besides, this one and his wife have been accused of not singing the national anthem when it was playing during the Nigeria trip, which was branded embarrassing by Princess Diana's former butler. Speaking to GB News, Diana's ex-butler Paul Burrell said Harry's decision to not sing the iconic song is because he's embarrassed of the UK. Burrell said the couple need to maintain their image of looking royal as that's their USP. As he claimed, without that, there's nothing else. He added, they're no longer working royals, they don't represent the king or our country, and they're undermining the good work which our royals do in Commonwealth countries. The former royal butler went on to say that Harry and Meghan's tour to Nigeria wasn't a royal visit, so the national anthem shouldn't have been played. He said, at royal visits, they play the national anthem. Why was the national anthem being played at their visit? They didn't sing the words to it. I'm not sure whether Meghan knows all the national anthem anyway, but Harry does. After watching a short clip of Harry and Meghan standing as the national anthem played while on their tour, Burrell said, Isn't that embarrassing? It's not only embarrassing for them, it's embarrassing for the world. And certainly embarrassing for our country. I just don't get it. He went on to say that he doesn't understand why Harry and Meghan are launching themselves as a royal couple on the world stage, pretending to still be working royals when they're not, he added. Robert Jobson, a British journalist, writer and author, also shared the same sentiment. According to him, the Sussexes' visit to Nigeria was a missed opportunity, because they didn't have the same reach compared to the time they were still working royals.